Hello guys, this is DBL Engineering Revit Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss regarding on the Revit 2020 interface. The first is the drawing area. So this is a drawing area. Second is the ribbon. So this is the ribbon and this is the tab. So under the structure tab, we have this ribbon. So we have the structure ribbon here, connection, foundation, reinforcement, model, opening, datum, and work plane. If we want to have the steel connections or steel objects here, we will go, we'll go to steel tab. Under steel tab, we have the connections, fabrication elements, modifiers, parametric cuts, and work plane. Regarding on the dimensioning, we have the annotate tab. Under annotate tab, tab we have the dimension, detail, text, color, tags, and symbols. Next is the quick access toolbar. So this is the quick access toolbar. Under the quick access toolbar, we can put any command that we are usually use like the beam here the beam command here if we are going to right click then add to quick bar and then if we wish to remove it just right click again and then remove from quick access toolbar next is the info center so this is the info center wherein you can type any command command like beam column or anything that you want and then it gives you an access to the internet and gives you the information regarding on that command. Next is the option bar. So this is the option bar is often blank unless we click a certain command like beam. It gives us option like placement plane, structural usage, if we wish to be in 3D snapping or chain. So if you want to exit, just click modify or escape. Next is the properties palette. So this is the properties palette. If you select a command, it gives you the properties regarding on that command. For example, if we click the column here, so it gives us the properties of a certain column. If we want to have other type of column here, for example, a steel column here, so it automatically changes so it gives you other properties of that certain object so and then escape here and then one thing is that it gives you the properties of a certain object that you highlighted so you can easily modify the object that you wish if you highlighted the certain object here so that's it then let's escape it then another thing is this the project browser so the project browser where it gives you an access for any views and anything in the project for example this is the views of all the element of this project here so you can minimize and maximize here and then like the legends schedules or quantities or sheets okay next is the this bottom of the screen which is it gives you the if you go to the floor plans here it gives you the scale the detail level the visual style here on this part it is a date is it a per view base so if we if we drag this window here we go to the section one here so if we edit the detail line here if we want to go in medium so the only thing that will change is this window and it will not affect the other windows here okay next is the test status bar 
which gives us you the option here located at the bottom left of the window which gives us the option or guide us for certain command for example we click the isolated here so next it says that click a place a free instance or space bar to rotate so it gives us it serves as a guide or is asking you what's the next what's the next step so let's press escape here next is <clears throat> below of option bar so below option bar will show you the recent or present view so here the section 3d and 3d copy so it is a dockable, dockable window next is the context tab so the context tab will appear if we click a certain command here so if you click here so this modify place beam this is the contextual tab an object specific tool are available so you can easily make modification to the object before we apply this certain command to escape so that is the interface of the of Revit so my tips is that getting familiar to the options or features of Revit will make your work faster but it takes time to learn them all so thank you for this tutorial